Hello, long time no see tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Symphony of War the Niflheim Saga with me, Blue Ankylo, where it's been uh, a while, you know. Uh, the live tubers are uh, falling asleep here. I've been doing lots of, uh, a lot of work in camp, let's say. We even got a tech level up by doing some arena stuff. So, I might have been able to get that just from doing a conversation, but I wanted to figure out things before we started recording. So, we got a level up. And I used all my scrolls, and I got Strategic Maneuvers. We can now charge. Dragoons are now Light Cav, which is important. Archers are now Light Infantry, which is important. And now all conscripts start with plus three levels, same as your mercenaries, full loyalty, and maxed CP. So you can immediately promote them to their tier two, and they always cost eight CP by base. Which is honestly very, very helpful, and I just did a lot of work because of it. So we're going to do a quick squad recap. There are certainly some changes, some good, some bad. You may notice I have spent literally every resource we had because, of course I did. Um, let's see. The Blue Anki Lass. We've moved things around and I've recruited myself a sorceress. So uh, she was just a healer, but now she's sorceress. Uh, starts a medic just straight to Siren, I guess that is to say. Um, that'll give us some status, uh, some some control by, by stunning enemies. And we're just going to have like a big front, a big chunky front line. And I might try to get a couple guns just to really have a variety of units in Ankylas' squad. A good everything unit. Jewels, of course, just bows. Barnabas, I don't think we changed. Nope. Uh, Stefan has been drastically changed. Now that archers count as light, we can have one, two, three, four, five units of light. And then three heavy and a normal. And the plan will be, I'm actually not 100% sure, I've been spending a lot of time thinking about this. Uh, I'm thinking that I want two beefy front row units. Maybe not Sentinels necessarily, but I was thinking like Zweihanders or Champions. But this is still a rough terrain ambushing light unit, strictly speaking. So there is another unit that might fit better that's technically also heavy infantry um, that we can see on someone else. Uh... It's possible I will rather go Samurai, because Samurais get evasion bonuses, apparently. Although I don't know the exact stats by any means, but because he's a high evade unit, maybe a combo armor plus evade is the way to go. And I'm just, I'm not sure. So, I can't really finish that yet anyway. For now, I'm just going to put a couple of sword guys, and I just I ran out of iron. We, we, we can't, we can't afford them anymore. So, that's that. Diana, don't think changed anything here. Pretty much the same as before. She's just super awesome. Maybe gave her a maid apprentice at some point, but uh... actually, he's ready to go. He just needs resources, and we can have an upgraded mage. Uh, Abigail, her dragon got grown up to a real dragon, and then eventually will turn into probably silver or something. Uh, that was just from some arenaing. Uh, Jay Steen, uh, because dragoons are now light cav, we can have three halberd types and two dragoons and that's enough for a full light cap so we'll have a couple valkyries eventually and uh probably valkyries dragoons and and hussars will work just fine bacules on pause until i have slightly more resources uh i was having a really hard time basically the way i've decided it, there is three advanced three types of advanced units that are light there's rangers assassins and Swordmasters. The Swordmasters are the girl version, and there's two guy versions, and those are the only light infantry advanced classes. Stefan's unit is going to go Assassins, to demonstrate whether or not they're good. Raka Raskuja, who's away, I think is going to go Rangers, because he's kind of a skirmisher ranger himself. And then uh, Narima, once she comes back, also away, is going to be Swordmasters for the ladies. That doesn't really leave Bakuel any specific units to build and I'm having a hard time with light infantry so for now he's sort of just on pause um I technically have a couple of his units just sitting around we can throw in if we want I think he used to have a healer that I moved around but whatever I just don't know what to do with his unit I'll think about it um awesome guy I forgot awesome guy had cheaper heavy infantry so I redesigned him turned him into a crossbow which is kind of heavier than an archer so he looks unique on the map and we're going to give him like Three heavy infantry up front, probably Zweihanders and champions, and I'm gonna give him two of the sent uh the 
two or three, I guess, eventually of the uh, Centurions, because I don't normally use these guys. And in theory, that actually gives us some flexibility. We could we could swap if we know there's a lot of cavalry coming and put a bunch of spearmen up front and the swordmen at the back if it's going to be a, a spear unit, a, a, hor a heavy cav unit, hev heavy cav map, or vice versa, depending on what I feel like. Um, so we're not going to go too heavy on magic. One stun, one heal is good. Not a lot of ranged units. It's going to be heavy infantry if I could pull it off. Uh, lots of archer horsebow. Uh, we got a, a siren slash sorceress for the lightning mage group, which is now all lightning mages. And we'll get a couple uh, defenders up front. Again, they might be better off going sentinel. I just don't have the resources right now. Um, or didn't when I promoted whatever stats and stuff, but we'll see. Still no cannons. Uh, this is a new unit. This is our second dragon squad. I took the legendary hero from chapter 12, turned him into a squad leader. Uh, I might give him light affinity or something eventually. It doesn't really matter. And um, just give him a squad of dragons. And eventually he got enough uh, capacity to add a, a second. So we'll probably just have three bruisers up front and then three AoE dragons in the back and just give him some potions. This is the unit that I want to go... We need a little bit more work, but... Um... Lord Corinth, this is the one we're going to try the blood plus regen trick. But that cost me an extra um, uh, four for this and one for the field kit. Two for the field kit. So we need six spare capacity and, um, well, we're not even close right now. <laughs> and I want to get the units in first, so we'll, we'll get there eventually. Uh, and that's it. That's everybody. So let's go. Support time. And I was thinking about this a little bit too with the live tap. Um, as much as the Inky Lass could pick either of these fine Nephilim warriors to join with, I really feel like story-wise, Stefan and Diana deserve to be together. They've got the most build-up of any two characters, I think. So, permanently bonded. Stefan, you kissed me. Because he canonically did this when she was dead in the snow. So I feel like it was just... The true love, right? Heh. <laughs> Score one for Stefan. I didn't know I could jump that high. Oh, maybe this was now. She jumped up there. Now you've gone and done this all this time, I figured I was just a thorn in your side. I could have slipped past your watchful eye in a moment's notice. Been that way for years, you know that, right? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Oh, Stefan. This is probably just another one of your flirtations, isn't it? Please don't play with me. You know how gullible I am. Diana, I almost lost you. Up on that mountain. Only you would be so brave or crazy to, to do what you did. To sacrifice everything, just on faith. Only a miracle brought you back. I'm done being your minion. Submitting my resignation right now, effective today. Well, you are free to go, of course. Ankylas will be quite disappointed. I can't be falling in love with my boss, can I? I figure I either fall out of love and keep doing your dirty work, or I resign. I can't have both. Wait, what? You fell in love with me? Well, by the gods, yes. I would never see another piece of gold again if I meant you felt the same. This ain't normal kind of love. This love comes straight from the depths of my being, from the tips of my fingers, all the way to this charming face. I've seen every side of you beyond the muscles beneath to the warm, vulnerable little dreamer. Mm, Stefan, when you climbed that mountain against my will, I chalked it up to your impetuousness. Can you blame me? But you just wanted to protect me. Only from your own damn fool bravery. Ah, you've enriched my life far beyond my personal spy. Being my spy. Your actions have won my heart. That speaks louder than anything. Do you think I could fall in love with a womanizer? Of course not, my fair paladin. I don't know any womanizers, do you? Not anymore. You're not going to go around breaking hearts, right? Hey, this one's special for you, Robert. Not anymore, you're going to... Alright, you're not going to break any hearts. This is what you're getting yourself into. Uh, now that you mention it, it does sound like a real... Oh, I see. Suppose it was foolish. Oh my, come on, I'm just fooling around, lady. Make with the smooching, old man. 
All right. Ten points and love. All right. That's out of the way. That was our first... Uh, there's there's technically ways to get some of those earlier. If you have a male protagonist, you can get a, a love bond with someone before you die, actually. Um, which is interesting. Um, oh, and also, right, for the future tubers, I exchanged my platinum arena token for eight bronze tokens to make sure I could capture some enemies uh, to get the... Uh, the tech level up because it was just very important to have that right now for me. Uh, I'm gonna save these and we can either do one gold, two silvers, or four bronzes later. Uh, I just we've done lots of grinding already. And we have some new mechanics to learn anyway. After a thousand years, the Nephilim Millennial War has resumed, and with Donar's intervention, we now have new tools available in battle. Not in the arena yet, but in main combat. These powers can be used anytime don't, and don't affect the turns. These powers can be used to teleport, render squads invincible, or drop meteors on people. What's more, the power of Dinar is available. Let's try it. It will refresh any one of our squad's turns, allowing them to second turn within our phase of battle. Oh. <laughs> oh, Cat Anki, though, you're killing me. You're putting my foot to sleep. Too fat. All right, we can deploy 10. This is a, a bigger map, although it's not super hard, and there is a bazaar, so, you know, very, very important. Uh, let's see. Don't die, don't lose, use your powers, win in 11 turns. Easy. Some light infantry, some reasonable skirmish zones. I think we send, like, Barnabas to the south. Maybe with Tariq, they can clear this out. Maybe we send J. Steen in there and then backs up a little bit. And then a bunch of other units. So we've got Abigail, Jules, got... I'm not going to be able to deploy everybody. So Bakuel's not really a full unit. Now there's Anthony, so it just comes down to like... Do we want the dragons or do we want Sotras? Dragons are new. I'd like to show them off, but hey, man, we got triple mages. I got to show that off. We've already got one dragon unit for now. Eventually, we'll be able to play more than ten. This is again more of a hey, we just restarted the game with Blue Anculas, so it's a bit of a tutorial. Let's get some talks out of the way. The time to act is now. Can we? Bet you didn't see this one come. I love this part. I think there's a way to talk without having to end your turn, but we'll get there. Uh, so we've got these, uh, this little thing here. Three new moves. Wonder what they do. I can do this. Let's have Tariq try to kill this guy. Oh, hold on. Uh, because we did the arenas, turned off combat. He's very persistent, Cat Ankylo. Even when I move him off of my leg, he just lays there like a lump, tries not to move. And this is a lot, this is a lot of horses. I don't think I've ever had a, such a large horse bow squad. See how our knights do. I wish we had three knights, but not quite enough. Valkyrie gets a shock in there as well. Okay, we didn't quite get the sweep, but still, still looking pretty strong. I like that unit. We will always find a way. Hmm, that's dangerous. Ready. Before the I mean, we could do some shuffles if we want to move people up. I must not fail. There's going to be some archers coming down, so we might want to be a little bit careful with who we put in the forests. Oh, I think this will work out just fine. We'll even go cautious just to be safe. 
you know, we haven't seen a lot of enemy crossbows either, to be honest. I have one now, but... They use iron rather than the normal archers that just don't need iron and use strength instead, so they're a little bit expensive. For my people, for my home. There we go. Dialogue. Ankylas. Diana. I can't tell you what a relief it is to see your face again. I have proven a failed leader. Casimir is strong as ever, and almost all signs of the temple are gone. You punish yourself far too much. Because of you, all hope is not lost. Tis my son. I fear I will lose myself completely if I lose him. Ankylas, remember when you told me you would be, by my, be my ally and no one I cared about would be left behind? Your son's out there, and I'll spend my last breath to help you find him. You shouldn't have to bear the burden alone anymore. You are Diana, the greatest paladin of all time. Nephilim avatar of might. Don't let the enemy forget. Thanks, Blue. Also, I could swear this is just a night after far too much drink, my friend. Seeing ghosts here. What's even more amazing is you're still in one piece. Sure, except I didn't come crashing down on a lightning bolt from the sky. What gives anyway? Didn't you feel a certain energy up on that mountain before I arrived? Yeah, I got all uh, tingly and stuff. Can't find the words for it, believe it or not. We recreated Donar's arrival in the modern day. Stefan, the Nephilim avatar of speed, skill, and guile. It's difficult to fathom. But we've got more practical problems right now, don't we? <laughs> right ho, Anky lass. I got a blade that's waiting to send some cultists to the void, and... Coffers ready to be filled with mountains of Imperial Plunder. Wait, you swore off that after you, uh, you know. Alright, so we can do that without... I must spin. stay strong. Where am I needed? Getting real thirsty here. Stay strong, everyone. A paladin never surrenders. So if we push her forward a little bit... Sure. Donar be with us. Go for that uh, juicy surrender. Got to get those uh, capture points. One tech point per capture. The battle lies before me. Time to end this. Oh, sorry. He would need two shuffles. How can I help, my lord? Bet you didn't see this one. And we can get another one. Give me them tech points. I must be brave. All right, then Abigail, let's send you. The time to act is now. My friends are counting on me. I mean, this side's. Well, we'll send one more down there, I guess. Probably don't need that much. Help. Also, <clears throat> the blue Anki last can now revive dead units. So if you're playing with permadeath, it's very nice. And you can recharge those at the uh, Donar Temples if they exist anymore. Wow. Get wrecked. If only there were Valkyries. He tried to teleport behind me, but... Just, just wait till Stefan uh, levels up. We'll show him how it works. The real method of the internet meme. Alright, so we were expecting a couple volleys of arrows. That's his standard. One crossbow. I don't think it's going to cause us any problems. All oh, right, and all the paladins get some free heals too. Diana is a really good group for uh, for taking extra hits like that. She gets a lot of heals on the uh, defense. Oh, very brave. That was pathetic. 
Well, not our best round of uh, counter, but... We've lured them into the forest. This is where we wanted them all along. We will always find a way. Okay, I might have overcommitted to the south side, but we'll figure it out. It's a sham! I think I'm opening with Tariq because we definitely want to kill this guy and be able to push to the east here and it's probably going to take two attacks so this uh, opens it up for the next guy to kill him. Oof. That was uh, not a good attack. I guess it's kind of heavy armor so archers have a hard time. Well, I guess then we better use dragons. Come on. Need some kills here, Abigail. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe I should just start it with this. It's so colorful. This is our most colorful unit. I must not fail. Don't worry, Nibbler's loyal. Still only costs five, though. We will need to get the new dragon down. I love this part. All right, I think Barnabas comes from behind, just to help take the load off the <laughs> the relatively surrounded four units. Now, just imagine a unit full of dragoons. We could make it happen. Like, I don't know, maybe three Valkyries up front and then six dragoons. <laughs> Oh, that'd be nuts, because they could, they'd have good defense, they could heal, and still do some melee damage, and then Six Dragoons would just... Tr mm. I don't know who's going to do that, but someone's got to try that, I think. Stay strong, everyone. Alright, Jules can't hit too much, so maybe we can wipe out one of these out in the open guys. He's not really in tree cover or anything. Oh yeah, we got him, we got him. Nice. Jewels. Alright, so we've got archers, some archers, and more archers. I've got, I've got three units up here, and I might be able to get, like, Soltres could kill this one, probably. Or, actually, I, I kind of want Awesome Guy. I think if Awesome Guy kills him, then Soltres might be able to get that one. Let's have Jaystein go for the ambush. Heck yeah. So we use our guns to shoot down the front row defenders, and then... The melee, the... Yeah, that... <sighs> I've waited so long for Dragoons. But they're finally here. Yeah, we'll go for Surrender. Good. That guy hasn't taken any damage yet. I do need to show off the Ankylas's new attack for the future tubers. But for now, let's show off my lightning unit. Alright. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's really good at piercing large, like, nine unit squads. Especially if they're a little off center, so you get hit multiple times. Uh, we could put, like, two more lightning sorcerers in the back there one day. No healers ever. Just the front row with some defense and more lightning. For my people. For my homeland. Uh, that was good. Alright, this guy's gonna run over and try to shoot us with a crossbow, probably. Here. Can hide in the mountains. Let's see. Some cavalry. Can we start luring them? They won't attack in Repent before the righteous. Yeah, we could probably get this. Unit to start moving over. Where am I needed? You know, we're not in a huge rush or anything, but I like to try to 
you know, we clean up one group. It's nice to lure the next group over. Also, technically, we have a Niflheim power. I must stay strong. Uh, so powers. We could teleport someone five tiles. Doesn't consume anything. It just uses up this, which. If you're wondering, these things charge up as we do combats and kill stuff, I think. And deal damage, I believe. And, um... This is just a free move. So, it's better if you move someone before they take their action. Because then they can move and do something. But if you're like, hmm... I really wish this person was not gonna die. We could teleport him out of the way or something. It's, a uh, This, uh... These five mechanics, uh... Especially the first ones we get. Uh, really change up the battle a lot. Like, I have to start thinking... I've, it's been a while. We've been playing... I don't know, probably 15, 20 episodes at this point, and I haven't had them, but now we get them again. So I gotta refresh my mind on how to, uh... Oh yeah, so this is, a uh... This is good science. I'm trying to find out if having a couple heavy infantry at the front, how much of a difference it makes for this unit's survivability. <laughs> it's looking pretty good, right off the bat. These guys didn't immediately die. They held strong they got healed, and the back row of rogues, even on defense, still managed to wipe out the unit. So I'm trying some new uh, formations anyway. Black hole. Wham. Good stuff. The mighty Diana. All right, cat, you're up. You're awake. Move it. Oh, I have to stretch my legs. <laughs> cat Ankylo is causing loss of feeling in feet. All right, gotta gotta readjust. Stay healthy. So, uh, skirmish cav up there. How many turns have we got? We gotta keep moving fairly quickly. Now I could start Nefelheiming it. Oh, sorry. Did you need something? I must be brave. If I move her one, two, three, four, five, I bet you she could get there this turn. Uh, but we didn't actually lure those guys over like I thought. So also, this is kind of a dead end over here because I think we we all have to go through this bridge and then all. Like, it's actually quite the choke point to get to the boss. You know what? We'll do it. Once you use it, um, it's better to use it when you've got it because it'll start recharging again and teleport recharges pretty fast. It's just a little dark My for a while, but we're done. Oh. oh, we don't need to be cautious. Almost got the sweep. If we'd killed this guy instead of the healer, then the healer would have surrendered. Alright. You didn't see this one coming. Sending you up. Free heals get even more or the the menu heals give us even more value when you're uh I think actually we're gonna send you north. Oh we ooh, deal. Didn't think we could make it that far. Uh, we're not going to get a capture, but that's okay. Some of the newbies get a little bit of practice. And then after attacking, we can canto even further. I think the plan might be for like Abigail and Tariq to claim all the stuff on the right here. Although we want to do a little bit more damage. School is in session. Another spear unit. A paladin never surrenders. There is cav up there. Let's. Master Sergeant. Oh, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Technically a charge. It's not just heavy infantry or heavy cav anymore. Sure, 
sure. Free action with guns. Nice. Definitely one of the best free actions you can get right now. Okay. So those guys are going to charge over to attack Barnabas. Hopefully. I'll just put him down a little. Uh, Alright. So... Jules is a little bit behind for sure. Oh, we've got uh, the refresh. <laughs> uh, so good. Uh, yeah, I want to start taking this choke point. So that's a lot of uh, light calves that are going to shoot us. Let's make sure someone can survive. It's probably... Repent. Actually, the plan is probably just to have Diana here. And then attack cautiously. Uh, not to really kill these guys, but to um, lure the horse cab down. And then not really take too much damage. And then next turn, try to charge through with everything, everything we got. He will always find a way. I think I'll actually use my power here. On Jules. Oh, and strictly speaking, I probably should have used Blue Ankylas first to support. If Blue Ankylas gets shot by arrows, it's not going to cause too many problems. Stay strong, everyone. I might shuffle Jules back though, because he's on aggressive, which means lo lo less defense. Yay, we got the healer. Nice. I think that was worth it. And you might be saying, Blue, how are you going to shuffle that back? You can't shuffle. All right, we get two heals at a time now. Yes. Uh, but actually, now that I think about it, Sotraz is probably even worse. We've had some discussions about uh, threat ranking and who gets targeted. Technically, Diana and Ankylas have less threats, so maybe the enemy will focus on whoever's got the lowest. Although, that's still a unconfirmed or unsubstantiated rumor at this point. It seems like the rules would say that's how it works, but... It's very hard to mythology, find like a mythology to check it. All right, one of them went for my archers, but we're in the forest. Should be dodging like crazy. Well, that didn't go according to plan, let's just say. Not great. Two, two horses down. I was expecting to go to Barnabas, because I think he even took... I thought I put him on um, cautious, but maybe not. Getting crit like crazy though, that's painful. Alright, Barnabas is fine, I think. Yeah, I really was hoping that these guys would charge over when Diana was in range of one of them. Oh man. We're not okay. We are okay. Okay, that was cutting it real close. <laughs> that was uh, not safe. Okay, this one went for Blue Ankylo. Ooh, gee whiz. Almost managed to take out my poor mage. But luckily they're not smart enough to attack and then Kanto out. They both went after Blue Inky. Blue Inky Lass. Just giving me some free uh, experience. That one's... I don't know where that one's going. Oh, they can shoot us. Dang it, this was a bad spot. 
That was, yeah. I didn't realize. <laughs> uh, here I am, like, oh, we got all these cool new powers. It's going to be great. Uh, that was a bad turn. That was uh, one death, two death, three death turn. Not, not the best. Hey there, awesome guy. Uh, I can do this. Yeah, you can. You actually don't even. I must not fail. Kind of inefficient. She doesn't even need leadership because she's already got a full squad. But someone's got to kill these guys, or someone's got to seize those. Whatever. You know what I mean. I love this part. Okay, those two are shattered. This one is not. Getting real thirsty here. So at least try to get a couple captures after our devastating losses. And this one's toast, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have Barnabas. He can use he can use the leadership points. Abigail can't. Same with Tariq. Oops, I might. We probably want to like take the ambush bonus. You know what? We don't even need to do that. Stay where you are. We're gonna get two rounds before they get a turn. Totally win this, even though we technically made some mistakes in our life. Yeah, the bot's dead. Sorry, awesome guy. Well, we can only revive three people, technically. Uh, we'll send you here. Barnabas can get those two. You can take that one. Um, there's no Denari Temple, so we can't reload our refreshes. We only we only, we only only get three, three reses. Okay, this... Uh, certainly not ideal. Let's... That sucks. Uh, it's this guy. This punk. Where am I needed? All right, I'm expecting you to sweep this. Come on, Diana. Let's not uh, get swamped down here. Yeah, she's got this. She's got this. Easy, every time. All right, now someone weaker can take out Sadek. Not that Soltrez is weak. And Blue Anculas is a bit weak right now. I think we actually use Blue Anculas. Ready. Could try a surrender. No, it's fine. But we can go cautious. That'll let us heal a little bit and uh, get this guy out of the way. Okay, a little bit of healing off. We'll, uh, we'll at least get his mage res. Her mage res. Alright, so then... Lots of treasure to be got, and another archer to be annoying. Let's make sure we kill these two upfront archers if we can. I mean, we've got anti-cav. It's good enough. Not a clean sweep, but it's, it's pretty good. Uh, we've got lots of turns. I think we'll probably use Jay Steen to do some liberating and go shopping. And then... We do another cautious attack, kind of exposing ourselves, but we are in a fort. Um... Still missed a few, but, uh... Oh, come on. Ah, nice. <laughs> uh, the triple lightning. I, I think this has to be a five lightning group eventually. Or maybe just, like, three sorceresses at the back. Just stun everything. Three lightnings, three, three sorceresses. Time to end this. 
I believe in jewels. I don't know if I should, but come on. Kill all the archers. Well, you killed two. Oh, look at all the free actions. Okay, they're still really good. Well, as long as the archer, as the horse archer doesn't come down and kill him. Although, again, theoretically, 12,000, they should be targeting like Sotraz if they follow the rules. Actually, they should, they should focus Jaystein if they can target him. Oops. Oh, uh, hold on. What's all this? We've got more powers. Awesome guy thought I forgot about him, but I didn't. It's fine. We're just gonna sorceress whap them and they're gonna surrender. Well, we got one. <laughs> Alright. Now this guy, I guess he could move up there and take a longer shot too. Yeah, we'll see if the AI is smart. Because they could go up here and take a long shot on one of us. I could have used the armor on somebody, I suppose. Forgot about that. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Don't worry, awesome guys. So awesome. Hey there, Pixel. You got a unit somewhere. I think actually in Blowing Heal Asset Squad. Double heal. Super heal. For my people. For my homeland. Yeah, there you go. Archer Pixel. I think I was gonna give you a gun, I just never had enough resources. Resources are tight. One day, one day maybe. You know what? It's going to be Barnabas seizing, and then seizing, and then seizing. We might as well just send Tarak to try to help. Well, he's got some deaths. Um, oh, sorry. Did you need something? Yeah, I need something. Let's get this captured. This does give us like a healing aura as well for regeneration. This guy needs to be captured. This guy's actually in a pretty good spot. That's pretty defensible. I think... How can I help, my lord? The, the quickest way... We will always find a way. One, two, three... Is to try to, uh... Just shoot this guy down. The full archer squad. Not great. Well, we got one. Oh, no, I got this. I forgot. Uh, you don't want to surrender? That's fine. Mages. They don't care about walls. They care about dodging, though. Jeez. Free action was lucky. These guys are uh, putting up a good fight. This guy can't do anything. So we want to capture Ferdinand and try to get Manfred. Although if we stand here, we'll be shot by that guy. Um... A paladin never surrenders. All right. Surrender, at least catch somebody. Bring him in. And then, let's see. Oh, awesome guy. I believe. I believe. I'm not going to get the capture, but... Man, this guy's getting a lot of, like, partial dodges. It's annoying. <laughs> Four hit points. Four hit points. See there, Pixel. Yeah, the vids are coming. I must stay strong. 
You know, maybe four hit points would have been enough if I'd moved Bloinky last first to get that uh, sweet morale bonus. Alright, that's our revive, and then try to make sure our healer doesn't die. Blue Ankylas does the reviving, the other the other uh, casters do the healing. Bet you didn't see this one coming. Alright, go catch up. Yeah, this guy can't I shoot you anymore. Oh, right, so you're fine. Stefan's at full strength. This is the unit that needs more healing. And Abigail, well, it's going to be hard to catch up in time, but I'll try. We've got uh, six turns to go. Oh, and look, I got a bonus turn. Why don't we... Uh... would be the most useful here uh we're gonna try get that surrender there we got him that four hp guy wasted uh and then because we've got it might as well use it exemplar blessing on the person that's gonna get shot take no damage What's the point of super god powers if you don't use them? Or maybe it's half damage. Whatever. It's enough that it, you're nearly immune. Oh no, it's raining! Our guns won't work. We don't have the tech for rain guns yet. There's a lot of, of pretty reasonably well defended lines. Session. Let's keep grabbing all this stuff with Barney. He just found some new horses. Are on me. We need like a lot of resources for upgrading units, so it's certainly important to get them all. Stay strong, everyone. I think if we kill this guy, we'd be able to walk around and get up there with with the like act, anybody. Yeah, we gotta take this wall. Priority. Just make sure they die. Let there be lightning. Uh, we're not gonna get a full sweep here, I don't think. Everyone just piled up on the dumb one in front. That sucks. Ooh! Free action, still not enough. Still, that unit's, you know, mostly dead. But that was unfortunate. Uh, let's try... Neither of these guys are actually moving. Okay, I'm just gonna cheese this find out if this is safe. It really depends on targeting. I think one of my biggest problems, it's not really a problem, but my biggest troubles with lightning mages is it's all about their targeting. If they target this guy, they'll kill four in a couple shots. These two are also good targets because they'll hit, if they target him, they'll hit the four units as well. So there's three targets, four targets if you count him, they hit four. But if they target the guys in the back, then they won't do near as much damage. It was not that impressive. And see, he just got sniped. I mean, that was absolutely pathetic. I guess my, my soldiers couldn't swing, but... Mages are good, but uh, still not great at taking over walls. Time to end this. So let's try something else. Uh... Tariq is, you know, not at full strength. Let's just have him, uh, there's not a whole lot for him to do here, so we'll just, uh, surrender that guy. That's done. 
And then... Real thirsty, not yeah. a lot for Stefan to do. Be with us. Repent before the righteous. Jules is light infantry now. It wasn't before, but now he can actually do ambushes. It's interesting. I think... There's more walls on this map than I was remembering, so... A little bit trouble. Maybe we do this instead of that last fooled idea, and maybe just... Yeah, just give up. Unfortunately, that means we don't get a turn to heal, but... Now, we need to kill this guy or else may just start dying, so... He will always find a way. I guess we just get in range Stay of blue. Strong, well... I don't know if that... That's... Okay, again, we're... we're it's probably my last map of the night. I'm starting to, to fall apart. Time to end this. How can I help, my lord? Let's see if this is survivable. Oh, we do have our, our uh, teleport now, too. Uh... Maybe we teleport awesome guy forward and he can climb up here. But he still we have to we have to deal with this way. unit one way or the other. So let's see if this is something that could work. I don't want to like think too hard right now. I just want to reload if it doesn't work. It might work. It didn't work at all. Oh. All right. An extra free action after extra free action. He must have Executioner. That's like the, uh... Stay strong, everyone. Yeah. That was the, uh, someone's almost dead. Here, have another extra shack. An extra, extra action. Alright, well, that turned it around. That turned it around. Where am I needed? There we go. Get those surrenders. And, yeah, let's use, uh, more power. I think that'll be close enough to uh, climb up the wall. And then it's a nice easy attack up here. Much easier when you can teleport behind you. Uh, we're still not getting a sweep here. <laughs> yeah, one of the weaknesses of our mostly heavy infantry. We don't have a lot of... Well, I mean, you get... You just need to get a bunch of free actions. It's fine. How come you didn't just get a bunch of free actions? That's all you need to win. It's like getting those uh, movement stars in Fire Emblem Five. Tracy is real easy if you just get movement stars. Oh, sorry. Did you need something? Sure, it doesn't. Really but yeah, good job, awesome guy. That was pretty awesome. All right, we've just got to capture the last, well, two things, and then go shopping, and also beat the boss in five turns. Oh, yeah, we're, we're ahead of schedule. We don't need to rush. Now, for this wall, it would have been nice to teleport right up there, right? Like, that would have been pretty um, Let's get that shopping out of the way. I want to do some shop shopping. Let's see. Anything awesome? Always take affinities, generally take traits, definitely take resources. Ooh, new bow. We haven't seen this before. Oh my, I didn't realize there was another minus capacity weapon. This is the, we've had a sword, sergeant's art fit, imperial armor, a banner, and now a bow. Wow, that's really good. That's that's a steal at 1,500 gold. Oh, and then these. Uh, it's the first time we've seen a plus movement item. Some boots, huh? Well, we better buy them. How about... Uh, I don't know about that one. Black belt. 
definitely more. I've got one already, but... Okay, I have to... I can't buy everything. Oh, no. I can't afford everything. I don't think we can get this. It's too expensive. I don't know if it's any good. You'd have to be an absolutely no magic unit. So no dragons, no healers, no mages. In fact, you don't even really want armor. All you want is hit points and strength. And literally... It's like a berserker. I don't know. There's probably a way to make this work, but it seems like a bad item and not worth that much money. And besides, I could have uh, Sir Archibald, Lieutenant Archibald, who's got uh, firearms are cheaper. Mm. And he's a dragoon, which saves me. Yeah, no, we're buying, we're buying the uniques. What does he say? Those who cling to the past will be swallowed up by the future. And then we're just buying all the dragons as well. I mean, I probably have too many dragons, but... Uh, we could also pick up not quite unique infantry if they look good. Although I am definitely running low on money. Although, to be honest, uh, I have a little bit more. I've been selling these. Maybe we could afford the Fang of Duros. Let's... Let's see how close we are. You know, if we just spent four more rounds in the arena doing bronze arena grinding, we would probably have enough money. Uh, unless we sell another thousand gold worth of stuff. Which technically we could do if someone really thought that was the best thing since sliced bread. Um, you know, we could sell something that's not that important or just have not bought something, I guess. You know, some of these items probably aren't that valuable. But I like collecting, you know. This would have been really nice to attack up into those walls. Anyway, I I struggled to see when I'd use it. And 60 hit points, like, I guess you get the most value on a unit with a lot of heavy infantry. But even then, I'd like to have some mages. So I'd like to have armor, and I'd like to have some healers. So, I don't know. I think we've already got one anyway, probably, so... Just ditch it. Alright. We'll say that's good enough for shopping. Alright, next turn we capture the last town down here. Wow, we can get right there. I can do this. Uh let's see. We'll just let Soteraz do a little leadership gain. Maybe. Didn't see any leadership, but might have gone up like a fraction of a point. Uh... Time to end this. Jules isn't looking super hot. We could send the awesome guy up. He's been pretty awesome so far. Oh, uh, no guns, right? Yeah. If you have guns right now, is a bad turn. We'll just put him on safety mode. I mean, if we'd just been on aggressive, we would have killed those two, but... Got them all eventually. And we took less damage for it, so... Alright, so that'll punch us through there next turn. Probably that just leaves one annoying archer. A paladin never surrenders. Mm. Don't suppose you get like just the one, yeah. Donar be with us. Well, I mean we could try. Didn't kill anything. Hmm? <laughs> I hate it when they dodge like that. One my big attack. Oh boy, I'm gonna do like 200 damage. Nothing. Punks. Uh, 
bet you didn't see this one coming. All right, Stefan. He does get a huge morale bonus next to his uh, his girlfriend. Getting some damage in at least. How can I help, my lord? All right. You just gotta believe. All right, hold on. Uh, how far can Blue make it? For my people. Pretty for far. My homeland. This is dangerous. It's got a little bit of Suikoden for sure, yeah. The story has some Suikoden for sure. All right, we got most of the archers. Good job. Yeah, no, I'd say it's a pretty good game, personally. Gameplay is good. And, uh... I must stay strong. We Jules. Will find a way. And the story is actually pretty decent, I think. Looks like we can wipe out everything on the map right now, so... Might as well take it if I can get it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bonus actions. Like, this is better than Movement Stars, in my opinion. Movement Stars were just... Stay they added strong, too much everyone. swing. But sometimes getting one extra attack in combat, like, that's great. But it's not quite as busted, you know? It's not the difference between moving 7 squares and 14 squares. And to be fair, you still can move 14 squares, but you need to use one of your regular abilities, which you can... It's more reliable rather than just random. I'm just gonna dig on Thracy all night. And hey, there's even permadeath mode if you like that kind of thing. Alright. So Barnabas did a lot of capturing. He probably got a bit of leadership capacity. Nothing too crazy. No, 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 no. We're already shocked. Okay, that's all the seizing. We got some number of sunstones. If you were playing with permadeath, you definitely want to revive Tariq's units before we go in here. Uh, what are we looking at for this boss anyway? Ooh, guns! They, uh, they actually couldn't. So if you're quick, Right now, those guns can't even fire at us, because unless they've got the tech, to be honest, I don't know if they do, but they probably can't fire back. Mind you, it's not super difficult to kill them with bows. Well, maybe. They got some defenses. Okay, we're going to probably teleport Tariq up there. What I can do is show off this a little bit. I know I can only revive once per round. But, uh... Well, unless you have an ability to refresh. Um... Nah, we'll just teleport this way. It's fine. I'm not sure about moving through all the, uh... The, the houses. Nice thunder sound effect. Well, we got two two rifles down. Repent before the righteous. I love this part. Do we send awesome guy? I mean, we've got literally three more turns. We don't have to rush this. Fail. Here, get healed. Look. It's looking ugly, only like one hit point left. Where am I needed? I think if Diana attacks, she'd be dealing with it. It's a lot of heavy armor. Stefan with the back attack with the rogues. We could try. Let's try, let's try. A paladin it, never surrenders. So bad. Oh, sorry. Did you need something? Let's see. Let's see if the rogue sneak 
not even sneak, but back attack wins us the day. There you go. We can teleport behind people too. And now we've got some slightly tankier units up front. We actually survived. And we almost got a full sweep. Well, a finisher, I guess. Good job, Stefan. You actually did a pretty good job. So I think you didn't I think I was right. Enough. Throwing in a couple heavier infantry up front is the way to do it. 100%. Um, they'll be better in advanced classes. And then just do whatever light infantry behind them. That's probably... It's going to be a much more... Like... Long-term surviving unit, I think, like that. The, the light infantry biggest problem is their front row sucks. D relying on evade tanking is not reliable. In rough terrain, you've got a chance, but anywhere else, you're just... You're not getting anything. Alright, so who goes for the capture? Uh, someone that has, like, less than seven units. Awesome guy, or maybe Diana. I mean, Diana's one of our big le leaders. We should try to get her to seven units. So Traz is only at six. No, she's at seven. She's not at eight yet. Yeah, six, seven, seven, eight. Well, I'd say she's one of the big three right now. So if anyone deserves to have uh, a couple free leadership points, it's probably her. And if you're playing permadeath on, um, as long as you revive people by the end of combat, they're not dead. But like if you're playing with permadeath, when we end combat now, one of those cavalry would disappear. Uh, we'd get the resources back, but the cavalry would disappear. But we could revive them with Inculas and have a, you know, quote-unquote perfect map where um, oops, where nobody uh, actually stays where dead. Am I needed? Leadership. Alright, so we've turned the battle around. We've revived. We've got Nephilim powers. It's time to take the fight back to Castamir. Eventually. Ember Palace. Ember Palace. Throne Room of Duke Jeremy. Ah, we finally meet. The Duchy of Ember is restored thanks to... By the Avatars. This guy's pretty cool. You are. He's the King of the North that, uh... Bit the Denied Casimir his full victory. He hid out. Ankylas in the flesh. I take it you're Duke Jeremir. What the? Guess I looked apart, eh? Donar stands before me. How can I not kneel before you? You are here more than just a myth or legend. This is the foremost moment in my life. Alright, alright. Let's just be people here. Just be people. You have come to our world to destroy evil. There is no other possibility. Please allow me to join your ranks of your army, Holy Donar. You can call me by Ankylas, and I'm still missing half my army. But I know there are people like out there, just like you, waiting for the opportunity to strike back. It's quite a risk. The Empire's going to want your hide. My lands, my resources, my own blade are at your disposal, Holy Donar. My soldiers are the most resolute in all Viridia. Please give us our divine mission. Well, don't bow to me. We're not the Empire. We're free people of Viridia. Let's see what the famed warriors of Embor can do on the battle. Jebediah. Oh, uh, spoiler alert if you're from the streams only. He betrayed us. Stop! How did you get in here? This is highly forbidden. You've been foreboding. Leave now. Is that so? I must have gotten lost. What's a girl to do? My father will hear- Your father will hear about this. You cannot just come down here. And shut your mouth and do what you're told. Uh... I don't have to listen to you. 
You're not my boss. Oh, but you do, and you will. Um. Need an adult. <laughs> look at you now. You humans all look alike. With little effort, you're putty in my hands, aren't you, my little minion? What are you doing, Beatrix? I wish you would leave. Pretty sure she's casting magic on him. <laughs> Literally, he's like, no, 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 no. And then his little uh, heart meters keep going from red to you know, pink. <laughs> oh, you love this almost as much as I do. I'm just indulging my curiosity. Here you are, all cooped up, studying this prophecy nonsense. I'd very much like to see your work. No, I... No one can see this. You won't understand it. You'll ruin everything with your recklessness. Are you questioning my intelligence? Wait just a minute. You're trying to provoke me. Well, if it's going to be that way, I'm leaving right now if you don't show me everything. There's the pink. <laughs> no, wait. Please, just uh, take a look. There you go. Oh, what are these scrolls, hmm? Uh, this is my transcription of the Historian Magnus, uh, but it's a very delicate project. Please, I beg you, don't interrupt. The translation will be ruined. Uh, bye, Donar. You're doing it from memory. Always the consummate bookworm. Hmm, what's this map all about? Uh, the transcription is complete. It's the location of the five Nephilim stripes. Uh, if I were to retrieve the Historian Magnus, uh, the secrets within would... No kidding. Well, well, very good work, Jebby. Good boys get rewarded, you know. What? Re rewarded? Swoon? Alright, that's all. Why don't you just look the other way while I study this map for myself? You wouldn't want to disappoint Beatrix, would you? N no. Yoink. You behave yourself while I'm away, little Jebby. Farewell. Until we meet again. Well, that's Beatrix. We've seen her once before. Let's see if we get some some uh, preps ready here. The Nephilim army makes its home at the city of Embor. Hope is already returning to land as the news spreads of Donar's return. General Lysander, hey look who it is, who fled the siege of Fort Eureka with those still loyal to the Viridian army, has made his move at Eastwall and has established his own resistance cell. However, a large Imperial force is closing in. Ankylas deploys the Nephilim army to reinforce Lysander's position and finally get all of our units and artifacts back. It's been a long time since we had access to all of our gear. Alright, let's just take a quick look. It's already been a long episode. Uh... We got to talk to Jeremer. He's pretty awesome. Uh, we can do more arenas if we want. Uh, we'll certainly buy another Platinum Arena token. Dragon Slayer. I actually think these books are terrible. but That's good. That's good. Horses. Traits. Gems. Nice. 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 Hey, we've got some resources again. and uh, Maybe I'll buy it anyway, but... We've got Healer uh, Mercenary. Ooh, Knight Captain. There you go. It's a very low leadership, unfortunately. So, although that's a nice trait, this unit would need a lot of work to catch up with my other units. So, that's not ideal. Mm, assassin on a Sentinel. And Overpower on an Archer. Yeah. that's Those are not great combos for their class. And this is just too late for that to really get a lot of value. Let's see. Other than that, big changes for the army. Well, we've got more iron, so we're able to actually get people um, into their intermediate classes going. Now, if I go soldier, we're not doing samurai. If I go spearman, maybe we'll go samurai. I don't know. For now, we'll just have them both be the same, and I'll think about it. Because you can't upgrade to samurai from there, but that's fine. Uh, I'm also tempted to go gunner. More guns on some units, but gunners... Uh, those would not be light infantry, so we have to stick with archers, I guess. And we still do not have even a single assassin, which is kind of annoying. Uh, let's see. Other big changes. You know, I'd like to get this knight. We could do it right now. Um, 
I'd like to get some more advanced classes here. Although, honestly, I think I'd meant to go three swords, because swords are the best. The spears were supposed to be temporary. I'd like to get my ca cannons, you know, one day. Certainly we'll get more cannons, right? It's a lot of archers. Earth is just not very good for promotion. Uh, Bacchial, I'll think about. Jay Steen's looking pretty good. Can we... Uh... No. Uh, this is... Valkyries are kind of tricky, honestly. They need a lot of strength, and uh, Hospitallers have a hard time getting enough strength. You might have an easier time going Valkyrie if you go... Um, instead of... Instead of uh, Hospitaller, I think... I think if you promote to Acolyte, they can go... Although you need strength. You need a, a strong enough um, Medic to go Acolyte. But I think they can promote almost certainly to Valkyries as well. So it depends if you want a Valkyrie with a little bit more strength or magic. Based on your affinity and all that. You know, the, the magic lets them heal more, but the strength lets them deal more melee damage. It kind of just depends on how, how you want to build them. Uh, Jeremy, hey look, we got a new unit! He just showed up. Um, he's got, uh, bad affinity. He's got a unique... I, I don't think I've seen this sprite before. This is new for me. Tundra Warrior, good for snow. And, uh, kind of a bad unit. We'll, we'll, we'll have to change this around. I mean, he's got really good capacity. I mean, he's got 77 leadership... Actually, replacing these guys is going to be smart because they actually don't start loyal. We can recruit militia that start off um, loyal immediately. Which we probably will do. Even though these guys are technically promoted. We can, we can dismiss them and actually we'll get some free iron out of this technically. And use them to build a better squad. Because our militia start as soldiers now anyway. As long as we've got the iron. Although dark... Dark, like some of these affinities aren't terrible. Double darkness is pretty good for good strength and stuff. But I think it's better, like, he's got five units right now. We could probably give him six if we if we get the, the loyal militia. So I'll figure that out. We really need the mages to be promoted as well. This does cost me more gems and lights and stuff. Um... I think lightning might be the best, but uh, let's throw a fire mage in there for now. All right, that's the big stuff. So I got a few things to do. We'll we'll do some preps in between episodes. Obviously, there's a lot of time that gets spent moving artifacts around because I'm always shuffling the capacity artifacts to people that can add new units until everyone's got nine units. You know, that's just the way it is. And uh, next map, we should get uh, Rascuja, Lysander, Narima at least. Those three. And there might be someone else I'm forgetting as well. So they've got a bunch of artifacts sort of held off. And three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 14, 15, 16, 17. There's uh, more as well. And we can only deploy, I think, 20 tops. So... We might already have more units than we can deploy. Like, Bakiel, we might just split into other groups. Maybe we just take some of Bakiel's and add them to, like, Jeremir's. Because, you know, he's another hero. We might as well have him lead, because he's got really good capacity. So, like, you'll make a squad out of him, out of the remnants of some of the other units. And sort of focus on the heroes. And, you know, I'm not going to get rid of Bakiel, but we'll just have him maybe perform a different role. Anyway. That's all for this episode, future tubers. Uh, thank you for watching, as always. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, yeah, take that heal. Using those sunstones up, they're really, they're really valuable. But double heals, really good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Double, let me. I'm not crazy, right? These, uh, yeah, two heals. Two heals per battle is twice as much. So, you know, if you had two. Tier 2 healers, one Tier 3 healer can replace them both, basically. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, let's call that uh, an episode. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. It's a bit of a long one again, but we're making some good progress now. And, uh, yeah, that's it.
See you next time.